for years when I had the Chester Children's Chorus, I always wished that I could build a school for them because I wanted them to have the same opportunities as the most uh, affluent and privileged children in the United States. And so four years ago, uh, my friends and I started raising money and making plans to build uh, a beautiful uh, school of the arts for children in Chester. And so here we are four years later with uh, wonderful public-private partnership in Chester. What we're trying to do here is develop a program that has a very, very solid academic program, but is enhanced and improved with our students' involvement in the arts. We've seen uh, schools like this uh, all over the East Coast where children are just uh, so much more engaged rather than doing uh, abstract work they're doing what we call authentic work. They're creating their own work, they're creating their own interpretations, and they're thinking in a variety of ways about uh, subjects. And art can do this in a way that uh, other subjects cannot. And the School for the Arts is very fortunate in that we have a whole beautiful room devoted to dance, one for arts, a very high technological program, and one for music. The world needs thoughtful, capable people. And we start when they're very, very little, and eventually they will grow up and be extraordinary adults. Our goal is that with this inundation of good language and the arts, that our students would be reading and performing on a higher level. We have a lofty goal that by the end of the year, at least 60% of our students will be above grade level. So we have our, a lot of work to do. But with this wonderful experiment in which we are involved, we just know we are going to succeed and meet our goals. I mean, how do you know what 200 children and, and 14 new faculty and a new principal will feel like until you actually get into it? So no, it's not what I dreamed of, but it's both more of what I uh, dreamed about and there's always room for improvement.